Hey man, hey man, check out my new camera. Wow, that thing's massive. Take my picture. Actually, it doesn't take photos, it's just a video camera. Come on, that thing looks exactly like my camera. You can't take pictures with that thing? Mm. Hey. So it seems that the general consensus is that the Canon C70 doesn't take photos or that people can't figure out how to make the C70 take photos. And now while it's not the camera's primary function, it can take photos, but it does it in a weird way. Today I'm here to show you how to take photos with the C70, how to review them, and the quirks. Subscribe to the channel and I'll tell you how. And stay to the end of the video for a little bonus. Hi, I'm Eric. I'm a videographer and an editor here in downtown Toronto. I've clocked in a few hours on the C70 and I'm hoping to share some quirks about the camera. It's really easy to take a photo. Just pop open the menu, go to the custom buttons page, and pick a button you want to use to take a photo. It's about three quarters of the way down the list. Yeah, unfortunately you have to map a button for this function, kind of like enabling tracking, but then that's it. Pop out of the menu and hit the button and you are taking photos like a pro. But here are the quirks. It always writes photos to the second card slot. It doesn't matter what card you have selected for recording video, it will always send photos to the second card slot. If you don't have a card in the second slot, it won't write a photo. You also can't take photos while you were recording video. Video. So what the camera is doing is taking a 4K readout of the sensor as a photo. They will come out with whatever color profile you are using and without a LUT if you are viewing one. The photos end up being roughly 8.5 megapixels and file sizes seem to vary depending on the detail captured, but generally range between 2 and 6 megabytes. And if you are using last week's trick and punching into Super 16, the photos come out as HD readouts instead for a roughly 2 megapixel photo. Now to review the photos, hit the media button. To see the photos, you have to navigate to different media files. To do this, hit the magnification in index button. This brings up the options of what media you want to look at, and here you can select photos. And that's it. You are taking and reviewing 8.5 megapixel photos with your $6,000 video camera like a pro. So it's definitely not the photo quality you would be looking for out of any other RF mount camera, but if you need a quick shot for a client or you need to shoot a thumbnail, you can. I wouldn't want to use this as a hybrid camera for a wedding or something, taking photos and video, but in a pinch, you can take a photo. Now here's a little bonus. To set custom buttons quickly, like to get rid of your new photo button and set it back to something more useful, hold down the menu button and press the custom button you want to set. It jumps right to the custom button menu for that button. So like you can hold down the menu button and then hit any of these custom buttons like button 12 and it'll go right into button 12 and you can select what you want for that button. Really fucking handy. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like the video, well, why the f*** did you make it all the way to the end? I'm just kidding. Thanks for being you. See ya. Doesn't look like a camera now, does it?